in Kennedy's class 3, where should the occlusal rest be prepared? On the occlusal surface, interproximal occlusal surface, canine and incisive. So there are three types of rests. One is occlusal rest. Second is canine. And third is incisal. Now this question is a little vague but it has appeared in a previous uh, question paper before. So we will discuss it to understand what the question is actually trying to say. Now of the three rests that are possible, occlusal, canine and incisal, the most preferred is occlusal because of its uh, anatomy, the topography, it is triangular in shape and it takes up a lot of load. Also it is on the occlusal surface which is not in the aesthetic zone and it can be a good rigid component. Followed by canine rest which is also equally good but uh, canine is a strong tooth so it can take up the load. If the, if the cingulum rest is given on incisors then they are relatively weaker teeth so it is not something preferred over occlusal rest and lastly incisal rests are preferred only in cases where nothing else works out because of the aesthetics and the weaker structure of incisors. So these are the rests that we have to uh, consider. Now the preparation of these rest seats, the rest is the part of the partial denture, the rest seat comes on the tooth. A little flared kind of a rest seat preparation should be done for a tooth which is next to the edentular space. So if this is Kennedy's class 3 situation and if the edentular space is here, then next to the edentular space this tooth will have the rest on the near zone. This is the near zone, this is the far zone, near to the edentulous area. So here the tooth has this kind of a flared, okay, kind of a rest seat preparation. Whereas for a distal extension, if the tooth was here, if this was the edentulous area and this tooth has to get the rest seat. So here the form of rest seat is not as extended as we see in Kennedy's class 3 situation. Now on the other side, if it is a class 3, then the other antagonist side or the opposing side will have an embrasure clasp. An embrasure occlusal rest will also have this kind of a flared preparation. This is to ensure that there is enough strength in between the two uh, teeth for the minor connector. And uh, one more uh, design consideration that you should keep in mind is if it is a Kennedy's class 3 situation where there is a posterior molar, it is very likely that the molar will be tipped towards the edentulous area. So in that case, the uh, in occlusal rest is prepared more divergent in that similar to this kind the first category that kind of a rest seat is to be pref uh, is to be prepared now the question has an option which says interproximal occlusal that means you want to extend some amount of this occlusal rest preparation interproximally like in embrasure class this is an interproximal preparation this is also an indication for kennedy's class 3 or kennedy's class 2 with a modification so that kind of a scenario the two answers that we could narrow it down would be occlusal and interproximal occlusal. Okay, but here we are talking specific to Kennedy's class 3. So I think we can go ahead with interproximal occlusal that is option number 2.